the best part, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to elevate, like, the colored man, how much is used by him. If he's from the poor part, Europe, right, which is maybe well, that would be spring, more climate, right? three months, huh? Like I said, that would be considered the worst part, not necessarily the poor part. This the would be, worst part. This would, be, this would be the worst, this would be the poor part. Yes, yes. So it's winter, maybe he gets spring three months out of a whole year. How, I mean, how much is used by the color? What does that mean? Is, 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 then, you know what I'm saying? Then in slam, we're talking about you living off the land and like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm trying to draw that up. You know what I'm saying? The way I see that degree, the useful land concept, right? There's a lot of parts <clears> of the degree where, you know, you can make your answers to it, but understand that they are to be figured. They're not to be answered immediately, you know? The useful land, though, you also have to think, what did Elijah mean by useful, right? So that, that comes into play as well, you know? Also, too, the this concept of how much is the whole thing, right? So how much useful land is there in total? 196,940,000. No, 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 no. useful land, useful land. Oh, wow. You could you had the 23 and 6, what do you get? You get the 29. But out of all the land mass, land mass, just land, how much land is there, right? It says it, 120, 57, 255, right? So loose loose change, right? That's a, lot, a little over half, right? It's about half. So what they're saying though is that like half the land mass is useful, right? If we're, being, we're doing a degree technical now, now we're not doing it based on this. Uh, metaphors like this is the the yeah. uh, we have the, the we use the black woman's body but they have the mind you know what I'm saying like mm. we have the 23 they have the, the six so we using them we have that we have our body but we don't have our mind like all that kind of stuff though you know but when we talk about the land he's also saying that if it was, it was technical about half of this land mass is useful right and how much of it are we using Right? How much of it is natural resource, how much is it using? And again, these become difficult because whatever we consider poor can also become part of the best. Mm -hmm. And whatever we saw as the worst part can actually fluctuate and be just poor or can get better as we go along. Mm -hmm. Because that's the way like actual earth is. The earth fluctuates, you know what I mean? Crops, when you even have good farms, you rotate them, you know? Mm -hmm. Just leave them on the same. So it's how we, how we speak of these things. Obviously, if we go with the consistent metaphorizing of land in the degrees, we're talking about the nature of the experience that we're having on these lands. So the best part is going to be where everything started, where everything was right and exact, or like, you know, the way Elijah's picturing it. And there's a little bit of fantastical mythology in, in the way the lessons are brought, or at least the way that they're pitched, because Elijah was an evangelist of truth. I always teach that he's evangelist of truth. He was evangelizing the shit because when he said something that was true and he said, hey, why is that true? He said, listen, it's true. And if you don't bear witness though, you'll be killed by Far Muhammad when he comes back and throw a lightning bolt in you, blah, blah, blah. Wow. He didn't go, look up fact and figures in here. He said, look it up. When he, when he said, look it up, he said, prove it to me and I'll give you a thousand dollars. You know, like he had these challenges. Wow. He's an evangelist. He wasn't giving you the answer. You know what I mean? He was telling you like, yo, it, it is what it is and you know, we Burning hellfire of <laughs> Take it or leave it. farts returning <laughs> when fart returns or else, you know? So it doesn't mean that what he's saying wasn't true. Obviously, we look at these degrees and we find truth in them all the time. And, and again, in, in new ways all the time. But in this idea of useful land, though, the way I think of it simply, though, right, is the, the, the percentages, if it will. Well, I'm not going to tell it to you now, but how much of the percentage is 23 out of 29? six out of 29 you see what i'm saying if you do those percentages though you get interesting numbers too so the percentages they also tell you kind of stories in the math as well you know what i mean but they all deal with one thing if you wanted one basic understanding of useful land is this right when we talk about useful land though we're looking at something and half of it is no good of the whole land mass so we're looking at something specific though, and everybody is focused on one part, right? One side of the world, one reality of the world, one part of it is right. 
useful. You see? The thing is though is that we're God. So, so if what he said, causes rain, hail, snow, if he earth, said, please. but look, if he said that about about half of it was useful, that's what he said. That doesn't have to be what we said. Hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when we look at these degrees, I try to think like, what did Elijah see and we see as useful? Because he applied these percentages of useful and for them and for us when he was trying to divide America up and say, let us take this as a colony, mm -hmm. right? Because that's what they were trying to do when he was alive. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? And I think that all of that played into the mentality of what he was trying to do there, right. you know? For us though, I, I just think like, yo, you should be thinking like, yo, what is the term useful to you? Because if I had a barren field that couldn't produce any crops, so it still would be useful for me because I could do Kung Fu on it, you know, be a flat land, I could train in it, I yeah. do all types of stuff. Yeah. But to another person say, this is horrible farmland, like it's just broken, destroyed, it's dry, right? So a lot of it has to do with your perspective and when you start looking at 120, you have to start looking at like, these are subjective as well. They, they demand that you analyze these degrees and not just come with the most basic, best understanding that has been passed down to you. You can also challenge them and come up with counters. You can also, look, you could agree with the older gods build on it, but also see something else in it too, because it's gonna grow and develop and see something different. Because the degrees were written and they were spoken at a certain time in history. So we have to first look at them and say, like any other text, any text, we say, what were these people living like when they said this text and when they printed this right. text? Yeah. And what, were, what, were, what was the reality then when this text was made? That helps you a lot, for example, when you look at words like Asiatic and things like that. Because these are words that, they use, that were more common in language back then, but not as common now. You know, people don't say stuff like that. And you don't call Asian people Asiatic. Like, hey, Asiatics, you know what I mean? Like, you don't, you don't do that. A lot of them would probably be offended though. And most Asians, like, particular, they don't always want to be lumped in with every other Asian, you know what I mean? Especially if you're gonna call them Oriental or Asiatics and stuff, you know what I mean? You can go there, you know? But no, people usually don't make that mistake. Europeans make it on purpose. If Mega did this.